Welcome everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today I'm very happy to introduce you to my September uh, Etsy Vintage Digital Kits. So I've got five new kits for you and I've got examples on how you can use them. So I'd like to introduce you to the new kits. They're very fun, very user friendly and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that can kind of make your, your life easier with digital kits. Okay, so the first kit is Woodland Creatures. Okay. I'm just gonna take that out so you can see it. And uh, what I did was um, uh, I printed out woodland creatures on cardstock, white cardstock. That way I can just go ahead and cut them out, fussy cut them out, use my guillotine to cut them out, or, and um, just decorate them up and they're instant journal cards or tags or things like that. Or you can use them as pockets or tucks because they have enough structure when you put them on cardstock to do that. If you don't have cardstock, you can always use regular copy paper and just back it with something like maybe um, some old junk mail or something like that that has a little bit thicker of a um, substance and then you're ready to go. So just an example, but you can also print them out on regular copy paper. So let me just show you kind of what they look like. Different images of all beautiful woodland creatures, all vintage, very old images. And um, you get five full pages of all sorts of cute little guys to play with. And um, they are so handy for so many different things. You can make embellishments, pockets, tucks, um, flips, so many things. All right. So I think this might be a duplicate. I'm not sure. But you get you do get five pages, and uh, so that is those. So here's some I, I printed out on regular copy paper because we never know how you're going to use them. So I like to have some ready to go. So that is woodland creatures. The next kit is um, handwritten letters. So what I did with handwritten letters was I put some handwritten letters. Um, some very old letters. These are from 1898. Um, different ages. 1911. Uh, and um, I what I did was I put the letters down and then I put more letters behind them so you can either choose to cut the individual letter out and use it in your journal or you can use the whole page as um, a page in your signature so you have a choice there give you a little creativity and variety and just show you some different examples of letters we have different calligraphy different handwriting different topics some are in English some are in French um, some are blue, some are cream, a uh, vanilla colored, caramel colored ones, um, fancy letters, not so fancy letters. I try and I uh, tried to give you a nice variety to pick and play with. And I'll show you how I use some of those when we uh, go through the little example book here. Uh, the next one is uh, close to my heart. This I call music just so it's easy to find for you. But these are all handwritten notes by a student in music and the actual student happened to be my dad and uh, he was a violin student and um, here's some of his music that he hand wrote out and uh, that's the way it was done yep that's the way it was done you didn't sit there and just get the printed off sheets no you got had to learn how to do the handwriting of the music and write it all yourself so uh, you get five individual uh, sheets this one's called the beauty of Russia and um, so uh, different examples of different handwritten music. You can also use these as full pages. You can use these to uh, cover a journal. You can uh, make so many. You can use them for collage. Uh, millions and ones, millions and ones things you can do with them. And I will show you examples. Okay, so that is music. The next one, old checks. I made some old. I made. I didn't make old checks. I um, uh, made a digi kit out of old checks. And some of these checks are so cool. Um, 1923. Here is one from 1871. 1873 and what I wanted to show you with the old checks and this is a little tip if you're working with digi kits and you're not super fancy with a lot of extra software most printers I'll just show you the pages as we go through most printers have a setting where you can do full page five by seven four by six um, so you, or shrink to fit different things like that you're going to see on your actual printer settings and even without a lot of fancy Microsoft Publisher or, or Adobe um, uh, Photoshop or anything like that or Elements, you can change the size 
of your images. So here's the regular big ones. All right, that's the normal size. This is the actual size of the checks. They were pretty big. But then I just, uh, I think I did five by seven or four by six here. So you can see how much it shrinks it down. So if you want smaller checks or smaller images, you can uh, do something like that. Okay. Which uh, is very handy depending on what you're making and what you're doing. Because sometimes we need big things and sometimes we need small things. So that can give you some ideas on how you can play with your images very easily. Okay. And uh, last but not least, we have positive words. Yes, um, I had this great list of positive words and um, I made a list of um, all sorts of positive words. And then this one I actually printed out on a piece of coffee paper, coffee dyed paper. Oh, let me show you close, sorry. And you can see it's all sorts of different types of positive inspirational words. And I always find it's so handy to have lists of words and you can, you can actually tear these into columns and then just tear off the bottom word as you need it. You can cut them out, you can tear them out, so many ways to use it. But I wanted to give you some options. Oh, let me back out a little bit. Okay, so I gave you one with a, a pink background, okay, with white wording. Then you get a lovely nature green background with leaves in the background, okay. And then I gave you, this one is called antique paper. So it's kind of a vanilla, vanilla, French vanilla tinted paper color. All right. And then this one is a blue, a nice um, rustic, uh, I want to call it like ledger blue. Was an aged vintage blue color. And then of course, uh, a plain one so that if you want to put this on any paper that you want, you can also do that and use any background that way as well, or, or play with it in your software and things like that and put different backgrounds. So lots of things to play with here. And let me give you some examples of uh, how I did this. Okay. Do I need to zoom in? Let me see. Okay. Let me stand up. It's probably better. Okay. All right. So the first one, what I did was I made a little pouch and uh, this little pouch has two letters tucked into it that I made. I just cut them out and I used a, um, oh, where is it? The little, <clears throat> these scissors to cut around the edge and just give it a little uh, torn edge or you could just tear the edge and uh, inked it up a little bit to make it look like an old letter. And this is from, I think 1912, if I can read that right. And um, here's another letter in there from 1921. And then I just tucked a couple stamps in here and the actual uh, little pouch in the front is one of the woodland creatures. And I just did some faux sewing on it and just um, cut, punched a little thumb hole in it with my handy dandy one inch circle punch and glued it on there and tucked some fun things in there. And then I also tucked fun things in here. It could be this, I just sewed around and made it an instant little pouch. Okay. And, uh, so I put some of the old checks in here, got some old checks and I put some writing paper in there, um, just for fun, just for something fun for somebody to explore and find in their journal. So the next thing, let me back out a little bit. What, what are you doing here? You go over there. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. And here I made a bookmark. Okay. So I used one of the old checks and this check was from 1884. It was a real old check that I have in my collection and I just put a cute little topper on it and um, I mounted it to a thicker piece of scrapbook paper that also had um, uh, decoration on the background, but I went ahead and did some, uh, some rubber stamping here. And then I put one of the words inspire here in the corner just for fun. Give them a, a little nudge on, on maybe something to write. So uh, bookmarks are always fun to make. You can use so many things with them or you can make uh, bookmarks out of just about anything. Okay. The next example is another um, demonstration of how you can use the words in different ways. And here is an old class picture from the early twenties. And um, I just put in some words related to, you know, striving and growth and going forward in life and having fun and, and just did some faux sewing around it. And um, just to set it off a little bit, thought that looked kind of fun. Very easy to do. Just, I just tore them out and inked around the edges. 
The next one is, oh, I put some um, of these woodland creatures in here and I just made some fun journal cards and this particular envelope comes from vintage digital kit number two um, but in here I just uh, these are out of the cardstock the white cardstock and I stenciled on the back and put uh, one of the words on the back as well just for fun very easy very cute and so you can tuck all sorts of things in uh, your little pockets and tucks so much fun okay such fun <laughs> all right here's a, a bigger tuck let me back up a little bit for you um this is from the woodland uh creatures kit and what i did was i just used it as a catch-all to catch a book page isn't this book page cool look at this book page that is so cool i don't even know where that came from uh, but i love it i i love it love love it and i put a, a picture here this could totally be my grandfather totally hi grandpa and um just some writing paper I got this out of a journal and I just thought it was so pretty it just belonged in there so it gives you a big easy spot to tuck a lot of fun yummies into or you could leave it blank and let the uh, receiver of the journal have the spot to tuck their yummies into so those are just some fun ideas of different things that you can make uh, with uh, digital kits and you can um, you know the sky's the limit with these things so they're in my Etsy shop and they're available for purchase and you get five full pages of um, each type and um, I think there's already 50 other digital kits in there if you want to peruse through those those are available for your perusing pleasure and um, so yeah I hope you I hope you enjoyed that I hope you had some fun today and um, uh, if you have interest in digital kits why do people like to use digital kits well um, sometimes uh, people have difficulty finding old ephemera old vintage ephemera sometimes when they find it it's too expensive to buy um, that happens a lot or they just don't have the space to store it and um, um, so any one of those reasons or <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> you just like the darn stuff and uh, like to have it at your fingertips at the ready whenever you want to use it so that might be a fun reason why um, so if you're looking for any of these they're in my Etsy shop and the link is down below um, the paper outpost and um, um, if you're looking for any tools or supplies that I use in my videos please check out my Amazon store and <clears throat> excuse me my uh, monthly emailed newsletter will contain some uh, junk journal tips, a free digital image, checklist of supplies, note from the bookmaker. My videos come out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, 7 a.m. Eastern time. Podcasts come out Tuesday, Thursday. Um, they're audio and they are free to listen to. My playlists are found uh, below or at the, um, at the end of the videos. You can find different categories of videos to watch. And um, uh, you, you can also find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. And then come on, join our Facebook group. We're having so much fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges. And you're welcome to lurk or share your ideas and thoughts on junk journals and junk journal making. And um, it's a very fun, creative, supportive place. And uh, so if you find value here, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Hit the notification bell. And remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Go have some fun today because you deserve it. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.